Lord Malgus, you wish to speak with me? That's correct. Kadamimu 5 is an industrial world used by the Republic as a weapons depot. The so-called war chest of the Outer Rim. Now the planetary governor faces charges of corruption and has declared independence rather than stand trial. This is our opportunity. There's no Republic fleet and no treaty between the Empire and Kadamimu? Indeed. And they have something we want. If we acquire or eliminate Kadamimu's weapon stockpiles, three Republic sectors will be left undefended. Conquering the planet is secondary. Nonetheless, we must act before Republic troops put down this rebellion. Or before the Governor readies the Kadamiman defenses. What sort of arsenal can the Governor access? What are we facing? The stockpile consists of over 80,000 missiles designed to obliterate capital ships. As we speak, the Governor is overriding Republic security protocols and arming the planetary missile batteries. His private army is quelling civilian riots, but the army's elite will protect the missile command center. Push through, take control, and Kadamimu will be ours. Assuming we succeed, where does Kadamimu go from there? We'll bring a fleet into orbit, and the people's response will determine their fate. Now go. Returned from Kadamimu. What's our status? With the planetary missile batteries negated, our fleet was able to bombard the planet's surface without incident. The first troops are landing, and the Republic arsenal has been confiscated. The war chest of the Outer Rim is no more. The Republic military can't be happy. I'm surprised they didn't land troops before we did. Their ships were in system when you took control of the batteries. But they weren't willing to start a war when they knew they'd lose the battle. We've also apprehended Kadamimu's governor and scheduled his public execution. His successor will be given the opportunity to lead the planet into a new era, or else pay for its association with the Republic. The Kadamimu people didn't ask to be part of the Republic, and they didn't ask to secede. Don't punish them for being victims. If they suffer, it is because they choose to be victims. But mindless oppression serves no one. In any case, our business is done. Until the next opportunity.